Now the next section which I told you is of the utmost philosophical importance and the basic subject first of all is that of caliphate. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَعِلُ الْفِلَرْضِ خَلِيفَةِ And just remember the time when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a vicegerent on earth. قَالُوا وَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُسْتُ فِيهَا وَيُسْتِكُ الدِّمَاءِ They said you will place therein those who will make mischief therein and shed blood. وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكُ and we, while we are glorifying you, نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ and praising you, وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكُ and all that is associated with that. قَالَ إِنِّي عَالَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Allah said, I know what you don't know. You know, why I want to place a Khalifa on earth? What is the good in it? You can't comprehend. You, have, you don't have all the knowledge. I have the knowledge. I have decided it. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Now this is the position of man on earth. And the basic difference is that the modern civilization has reduced the position of man to that of an animal. No basic difference between animals and man. Only quantitative difference, no qualitative difference. A slightly more evolved animal. That's all. No difference. While Quran says no, man is vicegerent of Allah on earth. What a difference. What a hell of difference between the two. The, man, the position of man. Ashraful makhlukat. In different words, Quran has described it. Khalaqtuhu be yadayya. I have created this man with both of my hands. These words you'll find later on in the Quran. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَلِي آدَمَ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ We shall translate it in Surah Tumani Israel, inshaAllah. So this is the first philosophical issue that the position of man is very high. He is vice-student of Allah on earth. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Now the second issue. That the basis of this caliphate is the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to Adam. And he taught, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا He taught to Adam all the names. The names of all the things. Now actually this human knowledge you must know. It comprises of terms, terminologies, names. Man discovers some truth, some knowledge, and then he, he gives it a name. And with these names, you know, he, this human knowledge progresses. With the terminology, every science, you know, has its terminology of its own. Unless you have a full understanding, a basic understanding, a deep understanding of the basic terminology of that science, you can't comprehend it, and you can't proceed with it. So actually all human knowledge, we can say it's the knowledge of names. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Adam the, name, the knowledge of the name of everything. Potentially. Just as we say that in a seed, the whole tree is present potentially. Where from comes the tree? From the seed. Actually the seed is the representative of the whole of the tree. In the same way potentially all human knowledge, acquired human knowledge, scientific knowledge, technology that was actually given it potentially to Adam alayhi salatu was salam. What does it mean? Adam was given the faculties through which he could attain all this knowledge. In the sama wal basara wal fuada kullu ulaika kaan anhu masula. And this acquired human knowledge is progressing through these faculties of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Fakala ambeuni summa aradahum alal malaika. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them all those things, presented those things. To the, to the angels and said now let me know you tell me the names of all these things if you are true in what you said if you the objection that you raised or the question that you raised that should be a better uh, word now if it is true now, now you tell me the names of all these things all of them said Glory be to you. You will be glorified. Subhanak. La ilma lana illa ma'allam tana. We have no knowledge except the knowledge that you gave us. 
And most of the Mufassirin, you know, they say that what it means is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to all the angels the knowledge of their own particular job. Different angels have been given different duties in this universe. And the knowledge only regarding that part of their duty, that of the universe, that knowledge is given to them, not an all comprehensive knowledge of all the things. While man was given the faculty of getting a comprehensive knowledge of everything. So that was the basic difference. Subhanaka la ilmalana illa ma tana. This was true about Adam also. Adam could also know anything, couldn't know anything without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling him the names of those things. So Allah ta'ala told him the names and that is why he could say, and you could tell the angels the names of all the things. But here they actually what the meaning is, that the knowledge, extent of knowledge of the angels is limited to the particular work or the duty assigned to them. And they, it's not comprehensive. While Adam was given the faculties through which who could get all comprehensive knowledge. In the Kantar Ali Mul Hakim, verily only you are the only person who knows everything and who is who has all the wisdom. Allah said to Adam, O oh Adam, you tell them their names, Falamma Bahum Asmahim, and when he told them all the names, Allah said to the angels, Didn't I tell to you, didn't I tell you that I know all the things, the all the ghaib, all the unseen realities of the skies as well as of the earth. And I know all that you make clear and you speak out and all those things also which you had been hiding or concealing. 